Hi, welcome to Post Market Report. What a market. It was unbelievably volatile. Markets opened firm on the back of a positive global cues and the markets was really very good out. And even during the budget there was nothing negative in the budget. People were worried about tinkering with the long-term capital gain tax. So nothing related to stock market. So I always say no bad news is already a good news. And at some point of time after the budget, Nifty feature even crossed 18,000 and remember it broke 17,500 just one or two days before. Today it shot up above 18,000. And then around 1 pm, there was a news. And that has changed the whole thing. The Credit Suisse is a bank in Sweden. Land. So they stopped accepting Adani bonds as a collateral. So what happens? People put the money in Adani bonds, so they give that bond as a collateral to the bank and then they do trading in stock market. So they said abruptly that bond will not be accepted as a collateral. So which means that the people have to square up their position or they have to give some other collateral or cash. So I think probably that is the reason. Because until afternoon, Adani Enterprise and Adani Port were okay. It was down but not out. But what happened after this news? Both the stocks started for a free fall. 10% lower circuit opened. 15% lower circuit again opened. 20% lower circuit again opened. 25% lower circuit again opened, 30% lower circuit and again opened. It went very close to 35%. I don't know whether it hit a 35% lower circuit and 35%. A stock can fall the day after its follow on public issue closes. Very clearly the follow on public issue was not a success and it was made as a success. There's a lot of rumors floating around. So it seems that Reliance promoters, Airtel promoters have subscribed for this fall on public offer. And probably the market rumor says so they have an understanding with Adani that Adani will not be starting a telecom company, so that's why they've done it. So another conspiracy theory goes the people who have applied for the following public offer, whatever it is, for some understanding or whatever it is. So they started worrying when the market started falling and because by the time they get the shares after a few days the price may be lower. So they started taking some short position in future some options. So that has dragged the market very well. So it was a free fall. And when Adani Group stocks fell, the scare has spread to banking stocks and banking stocks it shot 1500 point. From there it fell 2500 point and again shot up 800 point. On a close to close basis, both Nifty and Bank Nifty fell less than half a percent. But intraday the volatility was so huge that nobody could have managed it. So if the people would have made huge losses if they traded without any stop loss. So all in all, the budget was on expected line. The budget was negative only for tobacco. And anyway, the tobacco companies recovered and because the markets felt that the companies can pass on the additional burden to consumers and then some insurance companies. So I think some tax exemption was with the run for the premiums of more than 5 lakh, something like that. And then LIC has fallen. I think the time is very bad for LIC today lack as a double whammy. 1. The budget negative for insurance companies and number 2. They have large amount of investments in Adani stocks. So even as per their own statement, few days before, the value of the Adani stocks is over 50,000 crore if they fall like 40% 50% so it's a very huge loss for LIC portfolio. So global queues are okay. So I think today once again the panic was created by other group of stocks. So let us hope tomorrow market stabilizes. Let us hope there is no more negative news for this Adani group of stocks. And because other Adani group of stocks, they hit a lower circuit, no trade can take place. So only tomorrow, but Adani Enterprise and Adani Port so the people who had shares in some other Adani groups, when it over circuit, when they cannot sell it, so they take short position here, so that tomorrow if it falls further, they can manage. So other group investors, other group, other stocks investors taking short position, people who applied for Irvo taking short position I think clearly this Hindenburg is winning the game. Now, the way the route has happened in Adani stocks anyway, so we have to face it, whatever it comes. And so surprisingly, at the end of the day, I thought the way banknote was falling 2500 points, I thought today FI would have sold for huge amount of money. But surprisingly, at the end of the day, FI is net buyers for nearly 1800 crores and the domestic institutions also bought for about 500 crore. So net institutional inflow is about 2300 crore. Probably these people would have come when the market was in absolute panic. So once again Nifty visited 17400 and market recovered. So I have already advised you last week itself, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday so these three days is going to be huge roller coaster, right? And that is what exactly has happened. And today the intraday volatility was so huge, but on close to close basis there's nothing to worry. 
But by looking at this in the morning also I said on budget day if things are good, it's likely to be good for next few weeks. But now budget day has closed negative. But if you remove the Adani saga, then Nifty would have ended in green. So we have to wait for this some kind of stability in Adani stocks before taking any view of the market. So until then, so better to keep away from market. So that is the best advice. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.